Hi, Dr. Nishan. Hello, sir. Hello. Congratulations. Rank number 46. Phenomenal uh, achievement. All, all India rank 46 is something phenomenal. Uh, congratulations yes, once again from me and team Dr. Tutorials. Uh, tell me, how are you feeling? It's, it's just too good a rank. Uh, so more than anything, I am feeling uh, relieved actually <laughs> because uh, it's uh, it's been one uh, hell of a journey of last one year, a roller coaster ride. Uh, you know, finally culminating into something good. So yeah, uh, relieved more than anything, sir. Okay, nice. So, uh, uh, Dr. Nishant, tell me uh, about uh, you. Like, where did you do your UG, PG, and uh, how uh, and uh, when did you start preparing for uh, this particular exam? Yes, sir. So, uh, I did my postgrads from BJ Medical College, Ahmedabad. And uh, I, uh, I passed out in last uh, end of July, uh, 21, I guess it. And I started preparing only after uh, I had completed my uh, MD tenure. So. so how was the strategy like? Of course, we know each other since almost last one year uh, when we yes, were sir. training for uh, NEET uh, in ESS and we were training yeah. in the interview round and you are always with us. Uh, and yeah. uh, I, I remember telling you clearly that uh, uh, do not worry about things. Whoever has come up to this level will surely get a good rank some or the other day. So that has yes. happened as of now. So, yes. uh, uh, <laughs> so tell me, what, what is your uh, message uh, for the upcoming, the next generation of students who are going to give exams? One, of course, we have to be patient enough. Sometimes few things may not just have happen right away. Few may yeah. take some time. So you have seen both faces of it. So yeah. what is your uh, uh, take and what is your message for all of us? So, uh, so for the upcoming batch, uh, I'd like to say that, uh, so more, most likely it will be a general medicine pattern exam. So it will be, uh, helpful if, you know, if a resident, uh, does not worry much about, uh, passing the entrance during the residency program and focus on the, uh, you know, the, uh, patient itself and patient and, uh, uh, learn first from the, uh, you know, uh, day to day cases. Uh, like from the first year, uh, I think from the second year uh, itself, uh, you should uh, read whatever uh, whatever patient you know uh, comes in the OPD or the uh, IPD. So uh, it is a, a kind of a retrograde learning. If the patient, uh, if there's a patient of diabetic ketoacidosis, you can very well uh, I mean read and remember diabetic ketoacidosis from that patient only. That's what I think. And uh, since it's the general medicine, you don't have to uh, read uh, super specialty, I mean, reference book, Harrison, and the background knowledge you get uh, from the wards and from your PG teachers and you from the seniors. It will be, I think it will be uh, along with, of course, uh, the uh, doc tutorials uh, preparation by the faculty. It will be enough. And uh, the third thing I would like to say that uh, it's, uh, it's actually the... Uh, you know, the persistence that is more important than intelligence because many of these students, they think that I have not been, uh, I have not done, uh, you know, my MD from very prestigious uh, college or anything. So I cannot get a, a good rank in NEET SS. But I would like to say is that, you know, the persistence uh, can beat uh, uh, intelligence any fine day. So if you are persistent enough, you will, you will definitely do good. That's yeah. what I want. Golden, golden words from you. Uh, <laughs> persistence uh, better than uh, uh, your intelligence. So yes. Uh, yes, that is how the branches are. See, we yeah. it's more of a marathon race for most yeah. of us. Like by the yeah. time you do your MBBS, then wait a while and then prepare for MD, wait a yeah. while and then the DM and then come out for practice. It's been a significant chunk of the time of your lifetime which you're giving it. So inherent, persistent uh, uh, people yes, are the one who can generally, you know, uh, come up with, uh, 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 you know, persist in the system also. So, yes, and the important thing that you told, which I really liked was 
uh, some students feel low that they are not from very good colleges so they will not be able to make it to good college what they yes, so now that is something it's a myth uh, yeah wherever you are whatever you are uh, yeah. the right mindset will get you wherever you want is what i would want to tell from your story because yes, uh, i still distinctly remember our talks like how we discuss doubts like how we share information uh, yeah. it's been a journey for both of us uh, ultimately when you are able to you know get this kind of a rank and uh, you know achieve and you are in a position to get seat of your choice yes, at one of a few of the good institutes in the country there's yes, no there's nothing as good as that so sometimes we may miss uh, i i clearly clearly remember that aims rank was just missed by some small rank for you yes, last sir. time so i yes, clearly sir. told you you are going to make it in neat do not yes, worry sir. and see now we have a two digit rank for you rank 46 sub 50 rank and that to overall yes, it's not yes, just gastro so if yes, you just sir. include gastro your rank may be in top 10 or top 5 yes, also do not know yes, like sir. Uh, yeah. how it happened so yes. um overall it's an amazing rank and we are all really happy and proud of you uh, yes. so uh, let's now come to uh, specificities like you told that uh, going through harrison and concentrating during your md is what is really uh, important yeah. of course to boost you some special preparation through doc tutorials helped you so what were the things that helped you through doc tutorials yeah. was it the videos was it the qrps was it the gts that you gave was yeah. it the personal mentoring and also exposure just before interview room for any ss tell me the yeah. overall experience like where do you put the uh, preparation yeah. that helped you through doc tutorials Sure, sure. So I had joined uh, Doc Tutorials uh, in the month of February, where I had uh, taken up the uh, Elite Test Series course, and it was a good uh, course because uh, 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 Doc Tutorials had given uh, I think weekly or two weekly te- subject wise test. So it also uh, gave us you know uh, the uh, restricted time period for the preparation of that particular subject because the subject is endless. uh one cannot you know finish uh, something in a particular period but what you have to uh, finish is uh, uh, all the high yield points that can be asked uh, in the exam also the elite test they were very uh, the questions were very high yielding i had also seen and heard previously that uh, uh, many of the doc tutorials questions they literally mirror in the examination of nb and uh, the all the questions were prepared by the faculty uh, themselves so uh, the uh, the 60 or 70 questions of the uh, elite uh, t- test of each subject they were very high yielding and it was followed by a uh, discussion also there were discussion videos also which i had uh, seen and uh, this followed by uh, the quick revision program that came in the last month it was also very helpful it was very high yielding and uh, uh, and that uh, every video was also followed by a test which was uh, uh, again uh, prepared by the faculty themselves uh, and those questions they covered uh, uh, entirely you know the uh, all the high yield topic all the high yield topics of that subject themselves so so this elite with qrp coupled with qrp it they if you revise uh, only those in five uh, last five to seven days it was uh, very uh, helpful in the exam sir because what i feel uh, initially the exams uh, majority was subject based you want gastroenterology and hepatology yeah. you prepare that subject yeah. so it was different ball game yes. now when it was general medicine obviously if you tell me to sit and write and, and read the entire medicine obviously it's a yeah. uphill task so when yeah. um, a specialist from infectious disease specialist from neurology specialist from cardiology gastro yes, they are able to concise and tell you the importance of these are probably the high yield ones yes really of course one or two questions can be out, out like this time in genetics which we were also surprised yeah. but that yeah. little weightage can always vary the same thing mm. may not repeat next year also so that's not yes, in our hand so overall yes. our idea was to simplify things give an idea about high yield topics ultimately that yes, is sir. going to help just to make and talk about that yes, so yes, we are really happy that uh, we were all as a team 
uh, yeah. we are able to push you towards what you really uh, wanted and now here you are with an amazing rank and uh, you're Thank going you. definitely getting a fantastic place uh, congratulations so in nutshell what you have told is persistence is the key yeah, and yeah, uh, there's some smart reading here and there uh, yeah. don't dwell too much if something negative happen always positive is just close by so yeah. uh, that's what i we all will take from you uh, thank, thank you dr nishant it's been a wonderful pleasureful journey for both of us and thank we are really sir. happy to be a part of your journey uh, thank you thank you thank you so much sir pleasure is all mine thank you